Good day, y'all, and welcome to another video of mine. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be doing a review, you know, about my oldest laptop once again. You know, about using a, about using a Toshiba, Toshiba Satellite 330 CDS. You know, today in 2020, we're nearing the end of 2020. Sorry about the fall, so. I remember this I picked up from eBay, maybe. I think it was like $100, but that's why I picked up a few years ago and got it fixed up. Apparently, this laptop's from 1998. As you can see here. says it was new on November 14th, 1998. <clears throat> of course, I also have the AC adapter and I put in a working battery in this. I believe with it, I also got this bunch of CDs with it too. You know, I guess mainly ed educational stuff. Mainly for little kids. Never really took the time, you know, to to play every single one, but I remember all these were included with the lights up. I guess some kind of cartoon game. Ninety five three point one. <clears throat> This one is Famous Friends. Slightly newer, I guess, from 2005. This one is Mist. I think that would work. Some more cartoon games. Apparently this one's from 2000. Some more games, I guess, for little kids, maybe. I guess like third grade. I think it'd be nice someday, you know, if I ever get married and and have, have a child or, or, you know, get get married maybe to a woman who has a, a, very, a very young child. Some of these educational games, you know, would be good to, to let them play on. This one again is from 2000. <clears throat> 2001. 2001. Got all kinds of games. Sure, what that one is. Some weird cartoons. I remember I got these a few years ago, but I never really did take the time to play each and every one. That one's a trial version of some Atlant Atlantis. Some got a Windows 98 CD. I guess that's like first edition. Canon skin drivers. And this one's Put Put. Yeah, I remember Put Put. If you watch a, if you watch the nostalgia, the, the nostalgia mall. I believe you. I believe you can see see him playing a lot of these putt putt games on on his old Packer Bills. But yeah, this one's from. As you can see it there. Yeah, that one's from 1997. <clears throat> Another cartoon thing. It's a booklet thing. Com quiz. 
kit comes with the manual. Let's see when it was made. It was made in. You can see it there. Yeah, 1998. About the same as that laptop. <clears throat> and of course, they gave me a Windows 98 man. Obviously, a product key. Obviously, obviously, I'm sure. I'm sure Windows 98 by this point, I'm sure is considered to be abandoned. Where so y'all can have that product key all you want. I'm sure. I'm sure Microsoft, you know, most likely wouldn't care at this point since Windows 98 most likely is considered to be abandoned where. You know, since they're no longer supporting it or anything like that, obviously Microsoft can't can't make it can no longer make any money off of it. This one's a uh, Windows 95 boot disk. Also came with an install disk, I believe. This one actually came with my gateway. That I had a while back. Probably one of my earlier videos, I think it finally bit the dust. And this one is sign up for AOL. Spy Fox comes with a free trial of AOL. It's a bit newer, it's from 2003. And this one in this case is Dinosaur Adventure. Copyright 1999. Okay, let's fire this thing up and see what it can do. Quick overview of this, you know, here you got lights for power, hard disk, floppy disk, battery. And over to the side here you got a, <clears throat> got a three and a half inch floppy drive, CD-ROM drive, and, and right here I actually got a Wi-Fi card to work with it, and this one is, uh, here's your contrast adjust knob. And up here, back here, you got the power port, PS2 for external keyboard or mouse, one USB port, Infrared, a little cooling fan, serial printer port, and serial port. And over on this side, you got a the power switch with a lock. It's like a cover lock, I guess. I guess if you throw this in a bag or something, it basically helps prevent from accidentally coming on while you have it stored in your in your backpack or something. So that's neat. Also got ports for headphone, microphone, and I guess line, line out, I think, or line in. And of course a knob, a knob to adjust the volume. Let's fire it up and see what we can do. I do have the battery charged by the way, so should be able to run for a while. There's the Toshiba screen. Windows 98. So there's a 
Why fuck her with her? Overview of the specs on this laptop is a <clears throat> it has a 266 megahertz pain processor within the mix. It's like a 4 gigabyte hard drive. Its original hard drive still works just fine. It has 96 megabytes of RAM. You know, with those specs, would have actually been been fairly respectable back in 1998. Especially, most likely, a laptop like this back in the day would have most likely costed well over two thousand dollars. Which account for inflation and all that is probably more closer to three three thousand or thirty five hundred dollars in today's money, so it's quite expensive. First of all, I'm gonna see what internet stuff it can do. Let's see security off. I think one thing I had to do is I had to actually copy this text. Copy. not connected yet but it does detect it I think I actually have to do it on here I think you actually have to create new paste the name there Yeah, not showing up. It's weird. Yeah, for some reason it's not coming up on here. Which is kind of weird. Hmm. Oh, I got the network name in there.
Yeah, it's not not doing anything for some reason. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think I think I found the problem. Is that apparently my phone shut its hotspot off automatically? So. I think I now get back in business. Or at least should be. I guess so. Hmm. That is so strange. Huh. I have to turn off security. Now we're now we were back in business. It's kinda complicated on these old machines, but Since they're never designed to handle today's internet. Okay, now we are at the screen here that says, Welcome to the exciting new world of Windows 98, where your computer desktop meets the internet. Sit back and relax as you take a brief tour of the options. As far as internet browsing, I can actually do some very limited browsing. Yeah, it's so low of the old MSN website. <coughs> Shows 78 degrees in Panama City, Florida. So you can basically check the weather. Daily forecast. Hurricane Sally. Yeah, I can read some news articles here. And said that Hurricane Sally was moving at just two miles per hour. Hell, I'm sure I can easily walk faster than that. But look at a uh, look at all the flooding it did.
<clears throat> it basically tells you, you know that that a hurricane that the amount of damage that it causes is not only determined by its wind strength of how fast the winds blow, but uh, but also the speed, but also the speed that the hurricane is moving. You know, also determines how much damage it causes. And then in the case of hurricanes, a actually a slower traveling speed would actually mean more damage. Because then that would of course mean that the strong winds and the heavy rains would last longer. Google, I can still look up Google. And of course, uh, of course, over here you got your your left mouse button, right mouse button, and it's to move the pointer. It was before trackpads became a thing. And you got stereo speakers. Pull up some information here on the computer. Yeah, it says that it comes with a 266 megahertz pinion with MMX. And apparently, originally came with Windows 95. <coughs> I'm sure at the time of its release, I think Windows 98 first edition would have been option two. Can take up to 160 megabytes of RAM. Me, I have it with 96 megabytes. You can see from here. Yep, 96. It's Windows 98 Second Edition. One thing I'm gonna try doing is I'm gonna try putting in this this game that the nostalgic mall likes to play on his old machines. Get it open. Okay, it says put put travel travels through time. Windows ninety eight, Windows three point one. It's kind of hard to focus there. But it does say 1997. So we go ahead and pop that in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this uh, hot spot.
So I don't think I really need it for this. Okay, I can go ahead and play, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I need to register. It's running off a pure CD, I think. Press the play button to continue playing. I guess play. It's just old stuff here. Not sure exactly what you're supposed to do. I guess you can click on different stuff. Uh, if you click on this dog, it's really cool. Uh, not yet. What's this nickel thing? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what you're supposed to do here, but I guess you get the idea. It's kind of like a narrative children's story, I think. It's kind of like one of those interactive. I think that, I think this is kind of like one of those uh, interactive children's stories. That's what I think is one of those interactive stories. Like a 
TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat. As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great. And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. Hmm. I think he needs to put his coin right there. I need a coin to start the washing machine. Yes, I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. You remember you collected your coin? Just as soon as you give me a coin, I will give you a look back into time you will never forget. I can't wait to get a hold of that coin. I'll finally get to see if all my hard work has paid off. Oh, here's the coin. I guess you would drag it here. Here's the coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, but it is the key to great knowledge. So I guess his experiment didn't work. I guess it goes into that black that black hole. Yeah, I guess that's probably like in the RDR times. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> General store. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this, but you get the idea. You get the idea there. It's basically like an interactive story, you know, basically for children. Of course, one more thing I wanted to show them. Turn that internet back on. One thing else I wanted to show here is uh, IP address. One thing I actually 
wanted to show is that it actually had me had me surprised at first as well is that if I go to internet tools Microsoft chat You know, Microsoft Chat actually still works. You know, at least some of the rooms anyways. It says it's from 1998. Sentence to connect. Kind of to wait a little bit there. Still says it's hint. So what I need to do here is renew. Now if I refresh it. Sometimes I have to click release and renew. Close out of these and confirm that I have internet, which now I know I do. Okay, now I want to show that chat program, which actually does still work. I'm going to close out of this. <clears throat> okay, so internet tools, chat. Show all available rooms. <clears throat> of course, we get that. As you can see here is like a there's like virtually hundreds of rooms we can go to. You know even you know even this you know kinda of reminds me of, my, of the old AOL days when we go in the chat rooms. I'm gonna try saying something simple like a hello. I'm Sean from. I forgot the end. From Florida. Let's see if I get a response. So 
Seems like hardly nobody's doing anything here. You can see all kinds of users there. I actually can if I wanted to, you know, go out and chat to, to anybody individual. Yeah, I guess nobody's really doing anything here. Leave room. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get a response to anything. Yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think it's doing anything now. Let's try another server. Our IRC net. Yeah, it seems to seems to be kind of hacking it. Apparently, I still got internet. Maybe some servers ain't really working. I'm gonna try another one. Chatting it. Yeah, one obviously don't work. Let's try uh, under net. I think I had luck with that one. Still says attempt to connect. Well, if it pulled up this, at least. I'll try going to scroll down. Huh. Cross the miles. I'll try the all night cafe, is what it shows there. Oh, I remember back in the days. It, this mess has actually scared people. This program has performed an illegal operation and will be shut down. I remember I actually had a grandmother and, and who used like a Windows 95 computer. And one night when that message appeared, that actually, sca that actually scared her.
because she she thought that the cops were after you know because it said illegal an illegal operation <laughs> Obviously, the first thing that can. Obviously, the first thing that comes to mind when we hear the word illegal is something that's against the law. But no, it just simply crashed. So we try this again. Mystery land. Yeah, it's kind of acting weird. I don't know why. Maybe it's just updating its list. Yeah, it keeps a. <laughs> I don't know what keeps doing that. I think it must be the server. I remember I did actually chat on here before. I think this program ain't working like I expected. Once again, it says it's empty to connect. It just seems to stay on that for a long time at times today. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, it's not really working like like it should. I remember before I was actually able to chat with someone here, so this about wraps up my video. It's pretty much a rundown. Of, I think probably what I may need to do is maybe reboot the computer and restart the chat room, but that's a that's going to be a subject for another video because. I know I've already did this one long enough, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Well, have a good day, and thanks for watching.